What source would you use? Identifying the best sources for a research question can save you lots of time and energy. Review each research question, and then identify the best source of relevant and useful information for answering the question. How did the Underground Railroad help former slaves reach safety? NASA website Diary of a Civil War Soldier U.S. Census Bureau of Statistics Television Documentary on the Underground Railroad Encyclopedia Model Answer Television Documentary on the Underground Railroad What was the Battle of Gettysburg like for soldiers? NASA website Diary of a Civil War Soldier U.S. Census Bureau of Statistics Television Documentary on the Underground Railroad Encyclopedia Model Answer Diary of a Civil War Soldier What new space exploration missions are planned for the next several years? NASA website Diary of a Civil War Soldier U.S. Census Bureau Statistics Television Documentary on the Underground Railroad Encyclopedia Model Answer NASA website What type of government does the country of Portugal have? NASA website Diary of a Civil War Soldier U.S. Census Bureau Statistics Television Documentary on the Underground Railroad Encyclopedia Model Answer Encyclopedia What are the 10 largest cities in the U.S. in terms of area? NASA website Diary of a Civil War Soldier U.S. Census Bureau Statistics Television Documentary on the Underground Railroad Encyclopedia Model Answer U.S. Census Bureau Statistics Primary and Secondary Sources A primary source is a document or other record written or created by someone who was present at an event or during a time period. A secondary source is description of or commentary on an event or time period by someone who wasn't there, using primary sources. Eyewitness Report Primary Eyewitness report An eyewitness report is an account of an event given by a person who was at the scene and who can share what he or she saw or heard. Example It all happened so fast, but I did see the gray car pull out in front of the other car. I don't think he looked both ways. They weren't going that fast, so I was surprised at all the damage. Journal Diary Primary Journal or diary A journal or diary is a personal record of daily experiences, ideas, or reflections. Example, a student put newspaper articles about an art exhibit in her journal and then wrote her own ideas and reflections about the exhibit and the articles. Autobiography Primary Autobiography and autobiography is a personal account of the writer's own life. Autobiographies give us personal insight into the lives of historical figures and let us learn history from their point of view. Example, in narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, the famous orator and former slave recalls his early life and describes his feelings about the abolition of slavery. Footage primary. Footage footage is film or video of an event. Example, because many people can now capture video on their cell phones, we have a great deal of video footage of natural disasters and other dramatic events that we wouldn't have otherwise. For example, after a devastating earthquake in Turkey in 2011, much of the footage shown on the news was amateur video of rescue efforts. Interview Primary Interview An interview is a written or recorded conversation in which a person, often a reporter, asks questions or gathers facts and statements from someone who took part in or witnessed an event. Example, after major events, reporters often interview eyewitnesses to get their first-hand accounts. Likewise, people who participated in historical events or movements are often interviewed to record their impressions and insights for future generations. Reference Book Secondary Reference Book A reference book, such as a dictionary, encyclopedia, or atlas, is a collection of authoritative facts. Example, 
Dictionaries provide much more than the meanings of words. They provide information about the origins of words, the root meaning of parts of words, as well as examples of how words are used in various contexts. Biography Secondary Biography A biography is a true account of a person's life written by another person, often a historian or a journalist. Example Many biographies have been written about the life of U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. In Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the American President series, the 32nd President, 1933-1945, author Roy Jenkins describes the many facets of Roosevelt's character that led to his achievements and reputation as a political reformer. Textbook Secondary Textbook a textbook is a book used in academic courses for the formal study of a subject. Textbooks are good, authoritative sources for basic information on academic topics, such as history, science, literature, or social sciences. Reference website Secondary re Reference web website Once found only in print, Many encyclopedias, dictionaries, and other reference collections now appear online. These reference websites are secondary sources. Review Secondary Review A review is a critical article assessing the strengths and weaknesses of music, art, literature, film, or other works. Example this comment might appear in a newspaper review of a museum exhibit. Although their never-blinking eyes prevent viewers from taking the wildlife seriously, this painstaking reproduction of a scene in the Amazon forest brings the viewer much closer to understanding life in this unfamiliar environment. More to know why use primary sources. Primary sources give insight into a time period or event because they reflect the beliefs values, and thinking of the time. First-person accounts show events as they were lived. Comparing contradictory viewpoints in multiple primary sources helps you understand the complexity of the past. Audio or video sources help you experience the event yourself. Primary sources include artifacts, audio-video recordings, diaries, emails, letters, oral histories, legal documents, such as birth certificates, or works of art, architecture, literature, and music. Identify primary and secondary sources Layla's teacher asked her to write a short update on her research project. Read through her description and then answer the questions. I am writing a research paper to answer the question. How has diving to explore shipwrecks changed over the past 100 years? I began by looking up underwater diving in an encyclopedia to get background information on its history. In the university library, I found back issues of magazines published for divers, a book about people who search for shipwrecks, and a biography of Mel Fisher, who salvaged a Spanish shipwreck. I also found an old autobiography of a man who described how he had to use a helmet and air hose connected to the boat to search a wreck. Finally, I looked for information about scuba diving equipment in a science and technology encyclopedia. To learn more about the experience of exploring shipwrecks, I interviewed an archaeology professor who found two sunken merchant ships off the coast of Greece. I also interviewed a family, family friend who does recreational diving. Last but not least, I used a reference website to locate an article with a timeline about deep sea diving. Now I'm ready to write my paper. Which of the following is a, a primary source? Encyclopedia entry on underwater diving. Biography of Mel Fisher, who salvaged a shipwreck. Interview with a professor who found sunken ships model answer. Interview with a professor who found sunken ships. Which of the following is a secondary source? 
interview with a family friend who does recreational diving. Autobiography of a man who used a helmet and air hose to search a wreck. An article with the timeline about a deep sea diving model answer. An article with a timeline about deep sea diving.